Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is third class based on formation of differential equation. In this class, we will practice two problems. How to form a differential equation from the given equation, from the given curve. Okay. To form a differential equation, you need to remember three points. What is that first point? By seeing the equation, you need to identify how many arbitrary constants present in the given equation. Once you identified number of arbitrary constants present in the given equation, that many times we will differentiate that equation. In the process of differentiation, we will try to eliminate the arbitrary constants. After differentiation, if arbitrary constants are eliminated, it is well and good. Otherwise, we will go through this third step. What is that? We will use any one of these things or we can use all or we can use any two of these things. Okay. So you observe here how many arbitrary constants are there. Generally, we know that ABC represents constants. A is a constant, but we don't know what it is exactly. A can be taken as any constant. So here A is arbitrary constant. B, B is arbitrary constant. We know that B is a constant, but we don't know what its exact value. You do not confuse with this three. Three is not an arbitrary constant. Three is a fixed constant. Okay, we know that it's a fixed number. Three is fixed constant. Minus two is also fixed constant. So in this equation, how many arbitrary constants are there? Two arbitrary constants are there, A and B. So we can, we need to differentiate it how many times? We need to differentiate it two times. So we, I'll start differentiating this. Okay, differentiate first time. I'll write uh, d by dx on both sides. d by dx of y equal to d by dx of a into e power 3x plus b into e power minus 2x. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm just differentiating this equation with respect to x on both sides. We know that d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx. Okay, equal to derivative of this expression. To understand the things more clearly, I'm writing all the steps. Derivative of this expression plus derivative of this expression like this. Okay, now see here dy by dx equal to how to differentiate this part. Here a is constant, you take it outside. Now derivative of e power 3x. We already learned this type of things in chain rule differentiation. However, I'll explain this little faster. We have a trick to calculate this. You just imagine this 3x as x. You just imagine this 3x as x. Then it looks like e power x. Derivative of e power x is e power x only. But actually it is not x. It is 3x into, into derivative of 3x. Derivative of 3x is 3. So derivative of e power 3x is e power 3x into 3. So here a is constant taken outside. Derivative of e power 3x is 3 into e power 3x. We can write like this. Okay. Plus derivative of this expression. Here b is constant. You take it outside. Okay. Now derivative of e power minus 2x. In the same way, what you will get derivative of e power minus 2x is minus 2 into e power minus 2x. We learn all these things in chain rule differentiation. Okay. Right. Now little bit of simplification I will do here. dy by dx equal to 3a into e power 3x minus 2b into e power minus 2x. Okay. Now here two arbitrary constants are there. So I need to differentiate it two times. I'll differentiate this with respect to x again on both sides. Then we'll see what happens. d by dx of dy by dx equal to, I'm just differentiating this again with respect to x on both sides. What you will get here 3a into e power 3x minus 2b into e power minus 2x. Okay. So d by dx of dy by dx is what it is d square y by dx square and derivative of this expression is derivative of this term minus derivative of this term like this. Okay. So if we simplify this further, what you will get d square y divided by dx square equal to here. 3a is constant. You take that 3a outside. Okay. Now we need derivative of e power 3x. See here we already calculated derivative of e power 3x is what this is 3 into e power 3x. Okay. So here I will write 3. 3 into e power 3x. To understand I am writing all the steps clearly. Right. 
टू बी इंटू डेरीवेटिव आफ् इ पवर् मैनस टू एक्स इज मैनस टू इंटू इ पवर् मैनस टू एक्स ओके इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस फर्दर वाट यू विल गेट डी स्क्वेर वै डिवेड बै डी एक्स स्क्वेर ईक्वल टू हियर थ्री इंटू थ्री इज नईन नईन ए इंटू इ पवर् थ्री एक्स हियर मैनस आफ मैनस प्लस प्लस फोर बी इंटू इ पवर् मैनस टू एक्स here after two times differentiation also arbitrary constants are not eliminated right there is a trick here to eliminate the arbitrary constants especially in this problem y equal to a into e power 3x plus b into e power minus 2x when the problem is of this type then arbitrary constants won't be eliminated very easily but here there is a trick now you observe this third step i am going to use uh, these three things here what i'll do you observe after first time differentiation you got this now you take it as equation 1 okay after second time differentiation you got this now you take it as equation 2 what you will do you try to add these equations 1 and 2 or try to subtract these equations every time in this model this works here what i will do i will subtract equation 2 minus equation 1 why i am subtracting like this you just observe here here 9a into e power 3x is there here 3a into e power 3x is there so if we subtract i will get 6a into e power 3x okay and here 4b is there here when i subtract this minus will become plus 4b into e power minus 2x plus 2b into e power minus 2x is plus 6b into e power minus 2x that will be very helpful you try to understand here i am just subtracting this to what you will get uh, equation 2 is d square y by dx square minus left hand side subtraction you observe equation 1 left hand side what is there dy by dx okay i'll write direct step here you please try to understand here right hand side subtraction 9a into e power 3x minus 3a into e power 3x what you will get that is 6a into e power 3x okay here plus 4b when i subtract this minus will become plus 4b plus 2b is what it is 6b 6b into e power minus 2x okay now d square y by dx square actual our main intention is we want to eliminate arbitrary constants correct so here you observe here here 6 is there here also 6 is there so you take 6 common if we take 6 common what is remaining remaining is a into e power 3x plus b into e power minus 2x you observe this given curve what is a into e power 3x plus b into e power minus 2x that is y try to understand once you take 6 common what is remaining here a into e power 3x plus b into e power minus 2x that is nothing but y so here it is 6y you observe here arbitrary constants eliminated or not eliminated yes arbitrary constants are eliminated that means this is the required differential equation for the given curve now we will try to understand this more clearly with same type of example i request you to pause this video and try the problem your own if you didn't get then you check the solution once okay we need to form the differential equation of this curve here whenever we will form a differential equation we will remember three steps in our mind first you identify number of arbitrary constants present in the differential equation you differentiate that many times in the process of differentiation you try to eliminate arbitrary constants if arbitrary constants are eliminated well and good otherwise we will use this third step to eliminate arbitrary constants first point you identify number of arbitrary constants here we know that c1 is the arbitrary constant and c2 is the arbitrary constants uh, minus 1 into x is there minus 1 is a fixed constant how many arbitrary constants are there here here two arbitrary constants are there c1 c2 so how many times we can differentiate this equation we can differentiate this equation two times first i'll differentiate this equation with respect to x on both sides d by dx of y equal to d by dx of c1 into e power x plus c2 into e power minus x we know that d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx how to differentiate this part derivative of this expression plus derivative of this expression like this okay uh, here dy by dx equal to 
derivative of c1 into e power x as c1 is constant we can write outside derivative of e power x we know this formula in differentiation derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x only plus c2 is constant you take it outside derivative of e power minus x here we don't have direct formula for e power minus x we need to use chain rule differentiation here you imagine this minus x as x it is a small trick you imagine minus x as x then it looks like e power x derivative of e power x is e power x only but actually it is not x into we differentiate minus x derivative of minus x is what derivative of minus x is minus 1 so what is derivative of e power minus x it is minus e power minus x so c2 constant taken outside derivative of e power minus x is minus e power minus x okay so here what i'll do little bit of simplification i'll do here dy by dx equal to c1 into e power x here plus of minus is minus c2 into e power minus x you can observe arbitrary constants are still present how many arbitrary constants are there two arbitrary constants are there so how many times you can differentiate this you can differentiate this two times so now you differentiate this again with respect to x on both sides d by dx of dy by dx equal to d by dx of i am differentiating this with respect to x again on both sides c1 into e power x minus c2 into e power minus x okay d by dx of dy by dx is what it is d square y by dx square equal to how we differentiate this derivative of this term minus derivative of this term like this okay so if we simplify this further what you will get d square y divided by dx square equal to here derivative of this expression here c1 is constant you take it outside derivative of e power x is e power x only minus here c2 is constant you take it outside into derivative of e power minus x we already calculated here now what is derivative of e power minus x derivative of e power minus x is minus e power minus x now i'll do little bit of simplification here we will see what you will get d square y divided by dx square equal to c1 into e power x here minus of minus is plus plus c2 into e power minus x okay if we simplify this further what you will get d square y by dx square actual our main intention is we need to eliminate arbitrary constants with this uh, second time differentiation is also over we got this expression after second time differentiation and this is the thing we got after first time differentiation now here it is very simple you observe this is nothing but given curve y c1 into e power x plus c2 into e power minus x is nothing but y so i can write here y i used the given curve here try to understand third step we use either given curve or dy by dx or d square y by dx square see here from this uh, by seeing this we can say that this is nothing but y okay now you see this in this arbitrary constants are present no as two arbitrary constants are there we differentiated two times and we used these equations to eliminate the arbitrary constants i hope you understand and learn how to form a differential equation from the given curve